In today's video, I want to talk about how to deal at zero with items of expenditure that you pay personally. These transactions would often be referred to as expenses or as employee expenses. If they happen regularly, you might use, you might subscribe to zero expenses or another add-on if it was worthwhile. But what if this is a rare occurrence? The first example we're going to look at is you go to Tesco, you're buying your personal shopping and at the same time you pick up some stationery for the business. You've got a receipt from Tesco, it's got your carrots, it's got your bananas on it, but it also has the A4 paper that you've bought. So you would want to save that receipt, possibly highlight the line that's the business expense. Now let's look at how I would deal with that transaction in Xero. Okay, we're on the dashboard and I want to head to manual journals in Xero. So we need advisor status to go here, but from the dashboard we choose accounting, we go to advanced, and then we select manual journals. This just lets you enter transactions in Xero that you can't do otherwise. So we're going to choose manual journal and we're going to enter this transaction. So I'm going to put in as a narrative, stationary purchased personally. I want the backup in Xero, so I'm going to go to the paper icon and I can choose from file library because I've already saved my Tesco receipt here. I'm going to select it and say add. I might need a reminder so I can have a look at the receipt on the screen. So there we can see we bought bananas, we bought carrots and we also bought our A4 paper. Okay, the date, I'm going to choose the date that the transaction actually happened. And the first account is where is that expense going to go to in zero? I'm going to look for stationery and here we have a stationery code. I'm going to select it and then we're talking about the tax rate, the VAT. I'm going to go over to the right hand side and I'm going to say this amount is tax inclusive. The five pound includes VAT. So the tax rate I need to select is 20% VAT on expenses. Then I'm going to enter the five pound. So that's the cost in my zero account. The next line, I need to reflect the fact that I paid for this personally. Now there's two options here. If I was a limited company, I would look for the director's loan account, which I know is code 835. And the credit side of the entry, the amount that's due, the business is due to pay me this five pound, would go to director's loan. If I wasn't a limited company, if I was a sole trader, the account I would be looking for is called owner's funds introduced. So just to recap, we're debiting the cost code, printing and stationery, and the credit is going to the, either the director's loan or the owner's funds introduced. I'm a limited company, so I'm going to go back and select the director's loan account. Happy with the transaction, I then just choose post. Okay, I've now got a second example for you. You go to your supplier, your wholesaler, to buy some goods that you're going to resell in your business. They issue you an invoice as normal to the business and then you realise that you've forgotten your business credit card. What do you do? You take out your wallet and you pay it with your personal cash. So let's look at entering that transaction in zero. Okay, the first thing we're going to do this time is we're going to enter the purchase invoice as normal. There's no reason to treat it any different. So I'm going to go to my files section and I've already saved my invoice here. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to say add it to a new bill. I can see the bill on the screen and I'm going to key in the relevant information. So on our screen we've got it's from Handsome Homes, we've got the date, we've got the reference, we've got the backup, we've said it's floral mugs, quantity is 200 at £3.50. So we're just entering that purchase invoice as normal. Now what we're going to do is something clever in Xero. Before we do it, we're going to choose the chart of accounts and I'm going to show you something. So chart of accounts, and we know we need to tell Xero that this has been paid personally. We know we're going to use the director's loan account because we are a limited company. I'm going to search for the director's loan account. I'm going to select it. And the clever thing is we want this box to be ticked, enable payments to this account. So this saying, in a sneaky way, we're going to treat the director's loan account sometimes as if it was a bank account. If we were a sole trader, if we can't remember the account, 
we'll just search for the word owner. We'll find the account for owner funds introduced. And again, we would want this box here to be ticked. If it wasn't ticked, we would tick it and then we would save. Right, so we're back on our bill and this is what we need to do. We need to scroll down to the bottom and there's a section, make a payment. This is the date that this invoice was paid, but the clever part is it wasn't paid from a bank account, it was paid by the director. So we choose director's loan account. Again, as we've said, if it was a sole trader, we would choose owner funds introduced. So we'll select director's loan account and we just say add payment. So that bill is now in the paid section in Zero. If we select it and we click on the payment, we can see at the top left that it was paid by the director. So we treated those two transactions differently, but they're going to end up with the same result. The result you want is you want the cost to be debited in Zero. So you want Zero to see that you made a purchase, whether it's for stationery or for goods that you're going to sell. And the other side of the entry, the credit side of the entry, you want to be shown in zero that there's a liability to your business, which means it's an amount due from the business, either to the owner, if you're a sole trader, or to the director. That's how I would deal with two expense payments, payments paid personally, if it's a rare occurrence in zero. In other words, if you don't need to sign up to pay extra for something like zero expenses. If you like the video, don't be shy. Please let me know that you like it. Why don't you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you'll get notified when new videos are uploaded on a regular basis. If you've got any questions or any comments, please add them below and I'll do my best to respond. But until next time, happy zeroing.